Two months later, Midwest Zarya Linum State, Le Loso Canyon, Bristol Trading Grounds. Come on, Annalise. <coughs> Blazing berries! Well, this is that is pretty hot, but now it's my turn. Eight leaf blitz! Yeah. Okay, I'm not done yet. I can't keep this up, so. What the? You're mine! <laughs> Ow. Yikes, are you okay, Annalise? I didn't mean to actually hit you that hard. <clears throat> no, I'm okay. I blocked it, mostly. <clears throat> you sure got me good with that one, though. Guess I can't rely on that one move as my win button anymore, huh? Uh, it's just luck, actually. Besides, I gotta give back a little of what I've been taking. You've really been throwing yourself into this, Estelle. If you're, if you've got enough energy left for snack talk, for smack talk, let's do one more set. Of, come on, you're on. Well, you two certainly have a lot of energy this morning. Oh, Phyllis, good morning. Morning, Phyllis. Good morning, Estelle and Elise. I was going to call you two for breakfast, but I suppose I'd rather beat the stuffing out of you. I suppose you'd rather beat the stuffing out of each other instead of getting stuffed. Hmm? Oh, breakfast, right? Uh, what do you think, at least, getting stuffed or getting stuffed? Uh, this is a choice, isn't it? We'd be wasting a perfectly good breakfast if we didn't eat. So, Phyllis, you wouldn't happen to know where Kurt is, would you? Kurt said he had to repair some things for, today, for, tomorrow, for today's training, so he went on ahead. He made it sound like he had some pretty hard things lined up for you two today. Oh great, he really said that. And he told me to make sure you both ate a good breakfast. Come on in and eat. You two, something tells me you'll need, you'll need, you'll be wanting it later. I didn't realize how hungry I was. I hope it isn't a bad idea to eat this much before practice, though. Yeah, Phyllis's cooking is extra super yummy. Plus, Kurt's got something big planned, so I doubt we'll get a lunch break, you know? Yeah, good point. I need to keep our, need to keep our strength up to train, after all. Man, though, it's been three weeks since I came here. It feels like it's passed by on a blink of an eye. Nah, well, you really threw yourself into it, Estelle. Training with you has done me good, a lot of good, too. Thanks, Annalise, that means a lot. I gotta admit, though, while I'm glad Kurt agreed to train us, I really don't- I really didn't expect for you to be training with me. Well, I've been a senior bracer for, like, half a year, and I'm still a newbie myself, to be honest. So when Scarra told me the whole deal with you and training and stuff, I thought, hey, perfect! And Kurt and the others had mentioned this place before, so I wanted to come here anyway. So when I heard you were coming, well... Oh, that makes sense. Now thinking about the guild owning something like this makes me realize just how big the guild is. When Dad first told me about it, I didn't realize how big a thing it'd be. As I said, Estelle, I have no intention of stopping you. To be honest, however, you are no match for society, especially against the deadliest agents. Especially against their deadliest agents, you simply lack the skills. So I have a suggestion. Would you like to go to Le Losse? Le Losse. I cannot pronounce that for life of me. It's a training ground run by the Bracer Guild near the international headquarters in the Lenham State. It's a base set within a canyon that contains a number of difficult training facilities. It Covering skills of all kinds. Ruins investigations, ranger, tracking and survival skills, counter-terrorist operations. It's, it is bar none the finest place on the continent for training practical bracer skills. Well, I've never knew there was such a place. But it's in Lenham, isn't it? So it's outside the country? 
I don't think I can leave Libra right now. Well, it is a foreign country, yes, but it's only one day by airship. The training period lasts for about a month, I believe. If anything new comes up while you're there, we'll send you we'll send for you right away. How's that sound? Well, I recommend it, but the decision is yours. You need you need an answer today. Take some time and think it over. Now I decided, I'll take the training. Oh my. Excellent. You sound rather determined. I get the feeling you've been thinking about something like this for some time. Yeah, sorta. To be honest, looking back, I've just been relying on Joshua this whole time. Whenever something happened, Joshua would always guide me to the answer. But now, I have to rely on my own judgment. So yes, I want to retrain myself at this little Le place. Oh, Stell, I see. Then we'll file your application to attend tomorrow. Roland's skill branch will have everything you need for it. Okay then, tomorrow. Say, Estelle, once we're done with this, let's hop back over to the department store and grant for a minute, okay? The department store, why? Well, I haven't gotten you your senior bracer present yet. And you think you're going to need some new, some new on the job clothes. <clears throat> yeah, it kind of surprised me too. Speaking of your folks, whose clothes, those clothes were presents from Scare, right? You're so lucky, I wish Scare would buy me clothes, especially cute stuff like that. Yeah, they are, they were, I mean, they're tough and all, and they're nice and light and easy to around it, but... I don't know if colors this girly are my thing. What are you kidding? You look great, way better than your old red outfit of yours. Remember, we we may be bracers, but we're girls too. Fashion is important. No, because we're bracers, we have to look good. It's our duty. Uh, uh Annalise? Uh, I, I've got a still a hair ribbon. You look great with one. How about it? I should have a spare somewhere. Uh, I'll pass, thanks. In fact, I uh, couldn't help but notice. You're kind of a fan of cute things, aren't you, Annalise? Yeah, well, yeah, cuteness is justice. That's it's the law. I mean, okay, I totally get the appeal of cool old women like Scara, but there's not, a, there's not a thing that you can, can beat a young girl who's dressed up all cute. And whenever I see a teddy bear or a stuffed animal, I just want to hug it to death and... Uh, <laughs> if she knew, if she ever met Tita, she'd probably faint. Um, you know... It's changed a lot since I first met you. Hmm? When we first met back when I I had this real I'm a, you had this real I'm a naive innocent newbie air about you. And you still have that air of newbiness around you, but now it's like you've got you've gone and got some steel in your soul or something. It's pretty incredible if you ask me. Ah, uh, at least cut out the flattery. Uh, don't get in so embarrassed I meant it. Besides, you make me want to work harder. Can't let a young upstart like you take my cutest and best bracer ever title. Really? Anyway, shouldn't we be getting back to practice? Yeah, I guess it's about time, I guess. Let's head back to our rooms and get ready. See you in a bit. Jeez, she's like a ball of energy. I'm so glad to have her with me, though. However, I gotta stop by my room or, and get my stuff together. Does the stuff include the freaking ornaments I had from the last game? Because I still don't have them! I have none of my old items or my money. I'm so mad about the lack of money. Obviously, not it. That's her room. Here it is. Okay, this is her practice we're talking about. Let's assume I need everything in the kitchen sink included. It'll be a real combat, so I have no idea what to expect. I took the, took the harmonic out of her back. Okay, I'll do my best today, too, I promise. Alright, that's everything. Next stop, the entrance. I'm gonna have to equip it, don't I? Oh, it's already equipped. Good. Uh, 
Okay. Welcome back, it's all good. Let's begin. Please take your seat across from me. Today I want you and Elise to cover ruin exploration. We'll be heading to the Blaster Channel, which is the west of the ledge. The Blaster Channel. Kind of a strange name, but it's another training facility, right? Yes, that's exactly it. It's an old aqueduct from the Middle Ages that the guild repurposed. Several of its defense mechanisms were still operable, plus quite a few monsters have made it their nest. Traps and monsters, huh? Yep, that sounds like practice Kurt style to me. So, let's head off to this aqua thingy. Hold on a moment, before you leave, I want you to take a look at these. What's this? It looks like a combat ornament, but it's all weird. Correct, this is a new model combat ornament. You know, of course, that the S S Epstein Foundation was developed combat ornaments along with other orbital technologies. This is a new kind of combat ornament developed by the Foundation and supplied to the guild mere weeks ago. As you can see, there are some additional slots to break the previous ornaments for a total of seven. As a result, you should, this should allow you to utilize for the utilization of new, more powerful combat arts. Wow, that's incredible. Heck yeah, it is. Well, this will make us awesome. Don't be stingy, Kurt. Make, make with the goodies. If you wish, the guild will provide you each with one for free. However, there, there is, as you may expect, a catch. The circuit architecture within these ornaments is radically different from your current combat ornaments. As a result, your old quartz crystals are not compatible with these new ornaments whatsoever. You'll need to obtain new revised quartz. What? Yeah, that's why I don't have any of my old shit. It's this new model crap. Nah, all the quartz we've made up till now are worthless. I'm afraid so, yes. It will be a hassle, but you'll need to rebuild your quartz collection from scratch if you use this. Uh, no way. Uh, this is a hard choice. We can keep using our current ornaments. You could, but I don't recommend it. These new ornaments are superior models in every way. Their maximum EP potential is higher and higher end new quartz. And higher end new quartz they can accept have impressive capabilities. In the long term, they will grant you incredible physical abilities. And most important, the arts they can construct are far beyond what your current ornaments are capable of. Still, I recall our good friend Lieutenant Lawrence, I assume. What? Lawrence, yeah. Don't think I ever forget him, even if I want to. Scarra told me about a certain bizarre art he used against you. A terrifying attack that lashed out at your entire team and clouded your minds. As it happens, this ornament can manifest an art exactly like that with the correct quartz combination. It's been dubbed Silver Thorn. Silver Thorn. Wait, a, hang on a sec here. Wouldn't that mean that the red uniform Bonzel had one of these new model ornaments two months ago? A scary thought, but it's very possible the implications of which are. Well, for now, I must know. Will you accept these new ornaments? Ah, uh, man, this is so tough. Well, with a bit of work, it'd make us awesome, but right now, there'll be a hasty drop in power. I mean, that's drop in power. I like the new model, Kurt. Well, Lawrence, or whatever his name is, beat us like a tiger sweating at a playful cub. I know this n the new model won't make me in innately stronger, but if this could give me the tiniest edge, I'd like to master it. So please, Estelle. Yeah, you're right. Like I said, Kurt, fork over the goodies. Very well. Go ahead and take them. Also take these. This should be enough to synthesize the physics selection of quartz. Robert's station at the workshop there at the corner, so he'll be able to help you prepare some quartz. Incidentally, your bracer notebook should be able to cover all the new quartz and arts available. It might not be a bad idea to skim through it before talking to him. Yeah, sure, do that. In addition, today's practice is likely to be a, a long duration, shall we say. I recommend bringing some food just in case. Alright, food. Well, we just talked, we'll talk to Phil's about that, right? Correct. Talk to Robin and Phil's for anything you might need before we begin practice. And still, before I forget, these are for you. This is... Oh, shiny. Looks like a high quality, too. It's quite valuable. Think of it as a reward from the guild for success as a junior bracer. Thanks. Now then, I shall wait for you outside the lodge. Come see me once you're ready. A 
so let's get going already. Let's go back to Phil talk to Phil and Robert. Uh. At least it's a good thing that there's a plot reason why I lost all of my crap. Picked a new model combat ornament. Did you already go over the list of new quartz in the notebook? The fundamentals aren't much different, but some things have had their attributes adjusted on the switch, so give it a look. Now, before we get started, let's go over a quick work overview. It's a facade upgrading. A lot of higher end quartz for these new things are stupidly potent, but there's a catch. Eh. That kind of circuitry is going to require adjustments that requ requires you to upgrade slots where you can use it properly. Good news is, the core upgrades will also increase the maximum EP charge your orbit can hold. You'll need stuff to do it, but it's worth it, trust me. I really don't have enough for one of each, don't I? Except for that one. One of each basic ones. So I have the ornaments. At least they gave us a reason why. I mean, obviously, you look like you'd be a win. Change it up later. I still want to keep her with the. Uh... All right, so that's ornaments. So Kurt's going to be working you to the bone again, is he? Ah, uh, here. Then let me show you the first some nice. Cooking, tuto cooking tutorial. At least these games have a diegetic reasons for this crap, which I gotta admit is good. Out of stuff. Okay, so once we go through these doors, I'm pretty sure another cutscene will happen and we'll go on to the next mission. But, I'll save that for next time. Dear God, cutscenes, because JRPG. So I'll see all of you next time. Till then, everybody.